Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make 3D animated saber lines in After Effects. First of all let's click on track camera and wait until analyzing is done. Once it's done, I will select some points on the car, then right click and select create solid and camera. Once we have a tracked solid, we should create new solid layer. I will name it to saber and make sure the size is larger than your composition. In my case my composition is 1080p by 1920. So I will make my new solid size 2000 by 2000 and then hit OK. Now make sure to move Saber layer above track solid and then apply Saber plugin on a Saber layer. Expand render settings and change composite settings to transparent. Then expand customize core and change core type to layer masks. Now let's grab a pen tool and draw a mask line something like this. Make sure to enable 3D on Saber layer now and then simply let's check if it's tracked perfectly. In my case my Saber line is too far from the solid layer and to fix it, make sure to select track solid layer and press P on your keyboard, then copy the position and paste on Saber layer. Now it's fixed and we can now toggle off the track solid layer and then let's rotate the Saber and correct the position, then I will slightly scale it. Everything looks cool to me. Now let's play around with Saber settings, in my case I will only decrease the start size a bit. Now make sure you are at the beginning of the video and then change end offset to 0% and then click on end offset stopwatch icon. Now I will scroll forward near to the end and then change end offset to 100%. Now scroll to the very end of Saber layer and then press U on your keyboard to open created keyframes, then copy first keyframe and paste it at the very end of the layer. Let's quickly check it. Let's select all keyframes now and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph, then make a smooth curve like mine. Nice, let's close graph editor now and then I will make slight changes on a saber line. Increase end roundness to 2, then I will slightly decrease the end size. Looks way better to me, in case if you want some other saber lines, feel free to choose any from the presets, but I will stay with the default. Once you are happy with the saber settings, we can duplicate it and make two lines. Now let's reposition duplicated one. And now as you can see we have two lines, but they move synced and it doesn't look cool, let's change saber lines path. Select one of the saber layers and press M on your keyboard to open masks, then click on the mask and now we are able to control the path of that mask, feel free to change it as you will enjoy it. Let's check it now. It looks way better, but let's change the path of another saber line as well. Select another saber layer and press M on your keyboard and select the mask, then simply do the same and change the mask path. To make them different, we can also change the color. That looks better and more interesting. But now let's make these lines coming from behind the car and not like that, so make sure to duplicate your clip and move it above saber layers, then rename it to car only and make sure to delete 3D camera tracker effect on that layer. Now scroll to the beginning of the video and then grab a roto brush tool and double click on car only layer. Rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, close rotoscoping window and go back to your main composition. Now it looks way more better, but we have another issue, when it comes from behind the car, it goes back there and it's very easy to fix, make sure to pre-compose your car only layer, then select move all attributes and adjust composition duration and hit OK. Now select a pen tool and simply mask that area you want to fix. Press M on your keyboard and change mask mode to subtract. Now press F on your keyboard and bump up the feather to smooth the mask edges. Finally let's open mask settings and click on mask path stopwatch icon. Now we have to track that mask frame by frame, let's scroll forward and then correct the mask, do the same steps till the end of the video. Let's check it now. As you see everything looks fantastic and smooth. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.